Now on bounce, North Carolina has the highest or has the 22nd highest obesity rank in the nation among adults and 30.1% uh, of North Carolinians are obese. Our guest tonight says something has to change. Our final guest of the evening, I want to welcome Dr. Lloyd Bridges. He's a doctor at Our Health. Thank you for being here. Thank you. Thank you for inviting uh, me. Absolutely. First, let's talk about what you guys do at Our Health. Tell us about it. Okay. Our Health is an independent provider of employer-sponsored health maintenance services. Mm -hmm. We provide primary care services utilizing health coaches, life coaches, certified diabetic educators in conjunction with board certified medical providers such as family physicians and internal medicine specialists. Okay. Uh, let's talk about the statistics, you know, because this is very alarming. You have to wonder how we got to being ranked 22nd in the nation for obesity. Right, certainly. Uh, it's very alarming. We know that nutrition plays a major role in reducing uh, our risk factors for obesity as mm -hmm. well as other chronic medical conditions such as diabetes, hypertension, high cholesterol, heart disease, and strokes. And obesity is definitely a trigger for all of those. Mm -hmm. So you talk about healthy habits that we all need to pick up, about five that you wanted to focus on. First, you say eating healthy on the road. Tell me about that. Well. Five eating habits. Number one, drinking water is essential. Okay, so we're going to start with drinking water. Yes, certainly. Okay. Drinking water is essential, preventing uh, dehydration. Mm -hmm. You want to make sure you stay well hydrated. Uh, number two, you want to refrain from drinking sodas <laughs> or sugary beverages. Number three, you want to avoid fast foods or dining out frequently. Number one, you want to say no to supersizing, uh, and that's where the plate method comes in as it relates to controlling uh, your portion sizes. Which we know is key. And, and then number five, you want to stay active and on the go. You want to make sure that you demand more from your body so that it can reward you with a longer, healthier life. And let's talk a little bit more about the My Plate that you, that you mentioned. Certainly, certainly. The My Plate is designed to divide half of the plate into a vegetable portion, mm -hmm. and then the other half is further divided into uh, your protein mm -hmm. and then your grains. We're looking as well. at it here, yeah. So, this is what typically folks should strive for every time they're sitting down to eat a meal. They need to have a lot of vegetables on their plate. Certainly, certainly. Go ahead. Uh, vegetables contain a lot of phytonutrients as well as antioxidants, mm -hmm. and these. Uh, do a, a, they do a lot in terms of revitalizing, restoring, and, regen and regenerating our body on a daily basis. I'm very passionate about health and, and fitness and lifestyle, and I made significant changes through, you know, cutting out added and processed sugars. And one thing that I always hear from people is, oh, I'm a picky eater. I don't know if I can do this. Yeah, certainly, certainly. One of the things that we have to understand is that marketing is very sophisticated. And one of the uh, issues that we have is with sugar additives, mm -hmm. uh, high in fructose corn syrup. Yeah. And, and these are very detrimental uh, to us as, as it relates to weight loss as well, and, as well as obesity. Yeah. Okay. All right. So we got to be aware of that. I want to put up the information about our health. You can go to WBTV.com right now. And uh, in the web extra section on the homepage, you will find their website and much more information on them. So thank you, Dr. Bridges, for being here tonight. Thank you for inviting me. Absolutely. And thank you folks for watching here at home tonight. More news at 11 over on WBTV. Have a great Friday night and a great weekend.